Hello and welcome back. If you couldn't tell, I've just uh, literally just ended the last episode. Like sometimes there's a break and sometimes there isn't. We're gonna go ahead and make our way into the Sarlacc pits. Um, hopefully we'll be okay. Alright, if I could do a long rest, it would be nice. But it's not looking too good in that regard. Could sell that armor I just got. I don't think that anyone else can make use of it. I should do a quick look. See what everyone's got. Obviously, Bronlar is fine. Got that scale mail. Oh, wow. Um, Gertrude has scale mail, too. Didn't realize that. Obviously, uh, Herc has um, magnificent leather armor. Which, I mean, it's, it's fine. Magnificent is quite the word for it. It's not really that. Great. And I guess everyone's got scale mail. Kind of crazy, actually. And then we have this painted hide that uh, has interesting symbols and stuff of, in Goblin. So, we are um, off to the races, as they say. Let's do, actually, um, a save first. Uh, Sarlacc Pit. I can't remember what they what they're called. They're called Sorax. Why do I keep calling them Sarlax? I'm pretty sure there are such a thing as Sarlax in D and D. Now this is I, I'm really quite concerned that this is going to be really really spicy because um like. First of all, the last time we were here, it was already pretty spicy. And secondly, um, that goblin quest at level three, we were fighting two ogres and a dire wolf. And I don't know, maybe it's just my like paranoid um, D and D experience filling in the gaps here, but like that's that's no joke, <laughs> you know. Like ogres can kind of they. They have been known to one-shot kill a character. We do have a campfire here. We could rest here before we uh, delve into um, the Sorax. So yeah, let's do that. I'm trying to be careful. I just, I, I, I don't want to get jumped on, you know? Yeah, we're going to wait. We should be able to finish crafting those arrows. Set in camp for 13 hours. Nice. Is there any change we want to make to these spells? Do I perhaps want... No, I mean, I think we're good here. I wouldn't mind having different uh, level 2 spells, but this is fine. We will... We'll be able to pick some more, you know, more ones uh, on our next level up. Herc, what can Herc do? Herc can take a jump, but I'm pretty sure Callan has jump. So I don't think we need a second person that takes jump. We could take Entangle. I honestly think that Fairy Fire is just, like, a better version of Entangle. I mean, I know Entangle, like, stops them from moving. Um, but Fairy Fire is just, like good in a lot of ways um i could maybe take a different level two spell bear skin might be nice oh you know what we could uh how long does this last eight hours yeah let's take this and cast it now how about that on um cast spell as a ritual Detect magic, huh? Interesting. I didn't know you could do that. That's actually really cool. Must wield or wear a spell focus. Okay, well, um, we can try and uh, figure that out. Um. Yeah, let's... um. Funny, this light source is like you can't change it at all.
not proficient. I don't I should have sold this rapier. Is this like a completely separate hmm. Primed dagger. Uh let's just put this here. The wooden shield would be nice, but it's kind of proving to be difficult. If I find another, what is this? A short sword? Scimitar. If I find another scimitar, I, I should be able to make it so that our secondary also has a scimitar. It's kind of weird that you can't. Because all we're doing is we're setting it up so that um, he switches one of his hands. I guess we'll set it up like this. Sure. I mean, this isn't terrible either. And we only need the uh, druidic focus in like this one circumstance. Must we wield or wear a spell focus or component pouch. Um, are we not right now? Oh, I guess not. My bad. Okay, we're still not. No free hand to perform somatic spells. Okay. You just you just being very difficult about this, aren't you, game? I mean, I know I understand these are the D and D rules, but all the same. Okay, we're gonna cast Dark Vision on Brownlar. This will last eight hours, so we should we should be good for whatever combat. Not sure if um, there's anything of importance over here. Human tracks. Did I know that th there were human tracks there last time? It's just a club. Okay, let's cross this very strange bridge. I didn't get this uh, barrel. So we'll have to do that as well. I guess the one benefit to um, this weird bridge is that there's almost no way to stealth our way over there. <laughs> you know, like, ain't no way they're not going to notice the bridge, you know, grinding its way around. Um, not seeing anything yet. Let's set Herc to try and figure out how to get over here. No path or destination. Maybe it's a jump to here. Um, I guess we'll want to have Kellen do, uh, do this because she's the one with jump, right? Okay, um, cast spell. Must wield, wield or wear a spell focus. What do you mean druidic? Surely to God, Ranger. I don't think that we have a component pouch or druidic focus for her. I wonder if I just if I would just give it to her from Herc. If we just gave her the druidic focus, that is so weird. Oh God, this is so, I, I have to say, quite cumbersome, almost more so than like normal D&D. Um, okay, use this. No free hand. So we're going to have to take our weapon off, both weapons off, in order to cast this one spell. Okay, jump. So at least the, the spell worked as, as I imagined it would. 
I don't know how lo long that spell lasts for. Jumping distance. For one minute. She's got one minute to, um... Basically get to this next area. This next thing. No, no path of destination, huh? Do we have to, like, approach it from the other side? Oh, I see. She's got to push this thing. She might still need jump in order to be able to jump up. R really? Is the spell already done with? She still has jump on. So it seems to me she can't make this jump no matter what. Okay. Um, oh, I see. Cancel? No, no way to do it? Okay. I don't think there's a way, any way I could have messed that up, right? I wonder. We got an oil of, cu of cuteness, a candle, and a wand. I wonder if a wand would serve her. I'm going to move her back over here and give the wand back to uh, Herc. I still, I like, I really want to know what's in that. Because it's good, bound to be something pretty good. We're wasting valuable time here. Um, give that wand back and also re-equip your actual stuff. Yeah, I'll, uh, I wonder if this... this um... Oh, also Gertrude. Did, we didn't... Yeah, we didn't equip the secondary um, bolt type. Okay, let's get back over here and see if we can't progress here i don't I won't i shouldn't have to worry too much about uh Bronlar's vision he's got seven hours and 55 minutes left imagine trying to figure that out in actual DD. like that's the thing that gets me I f you'd, you'd think that there were like easier ways of figuring something like that out It's funny, you know, I feel like D&D &D in general um, has always tried to per put, like, things like magic and spells into too realistic and, like, grounded um, box, right? It's like trying to define spells and magic in such a strict way so that, you know, it makes sense and you can, you know, you, you have a better idea of how they work. And I guess that makes sense for building a game. Um, but also, it's it's a little funky. Because you wouldn't think that magic would work consistently in any way. Like, they almost treat it like science. Goblin hair fungus. Oh, oh good, we got some more goblin hair fungus. So let's have a... Let's have a see if uh, maybe we can... Use an arcane focus. to cast um, jump because she needs to cast it again and it looks like no she needs a druidic one this is goofy <laughs> this is absolutely goofy it's fine um, I mean it does mean that we have to share a druidic f focus I guess it kind of makes sense because it's like a ranger would want to have like a natural or nature-based wand. Um, no free hand. Oh, did I not have the wand equipped again? I'm really sorry, guys. I'm like really struggling here. Okay, we still need a druidic one. I won't lie. This is, this is kind of cumbersome, but, you know, I'm trying my best here. Okay, Callan is going to cast jump on herself. Maybe she should cast jump on someone who can actually jump. 
like Herc, for example. Because I noticed that she's encumbered. Speed is reduced. Okay. Okay, let's cast Jump on Herc. At, uh, at least like that works. And then you're going to want to jump over there. And so we have uh, looted this place. I, I was surprised. I'm surprised to see that there's no like, where is this Sorak stuff? Sorak, a calf have attacked. The outpost of Kerr Lim in the marches, they must have left traces, weapons, something, search their camp and the caves. Bring back any piece of equipment that could be of Sor Akath origin. So we've got an unidentified potion. Emperor's Eye. Crafting manual basic poison. Crafting manual deep pain. Crafting manual basic poison again. A primed mace. Why would I care about it being primed? Made of magical alloy. Oh, okay. More magnificent hide armor. This one is actually better. Magnificent hide armor is actually better than what we were currently using for um, Herc. So that is actually very nice. We did actually gain uh, something of quite high value um so let's get back to oh i mean first of all there's a secondary container here i wonder if that accomplished the quest find a sorak item i guess not found some money and storm heather and thieves tools and rations nothing too exciting all right, Kellen, give me my, give give Herc back his uh, wand. He needs it for important druid stuff, you know, official druid stuff. We'll have to we'll have to get you your own druidic fork uh, focus. Um, we'll also give this manual to Kellen. She's gonna be able to learn how to. Make basic poison. We still need scarn um, powder. I wonder if that uh, manual is like split amongst everyone. Like if we give this um, manual to learn to craft a deep pain item. It's quite valuable. But I do want to learn how to craft the good stuff. This is more poison. Deep spider, venom gland, troll, acanthus. Good stuff, good stuff. But now uh, I'm going to give this po basic poison to Gertrude, who is too far away. Where is Gert Gertrude? I'm glad I came back here at, at the very least. Gertrude, you're going to take this poison and you're going to learn how to... You already know this crafting option. Oh, yeah, I guess it's uh, it must be split amongst the whole party. Like, once you learn how to make it, everyone knows how to make it. Go ahead and give that to Kalan. Give her some arrows back. Um, I don't want Kalan to be over-encumbered. So let's give that painted hide to someone who can carry it, like Brolin. I guess Brolin is over-encumbered now. Oh, well. <laughs> I tried. So if the Sorax weren't here, then I have to assume they're not here at Care, uh, Care Aaron, Care Ain, Care 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 something, you know. Care le la learn Lair? lay. Who knows? Who could say? Yeah, it's, there's still an active quest there. Well, we'll check it out on the way back. How about that? There's definitely a layer there. We just have to figure out where. We're going to be doing a long rest on the way there and recover our health and 
Ronlar starts singing an old song. Carolyn starts a heated political discussion about the principality of Masgarth. Carolyn manages to collect crafting ingredients. Oh, combat encounter roaming fanatics. Gertrude has spotted the approaching enemies. Party has stumbled upon a group of creatures. Combat is inevitable. Okay, so we didn't get surprised. This is good. Battle starts. We have cult fanatics. Um, there's one on basically all sides of us. Yeah, basically. So let's just like move towards the closest one ish. I guess we don't have dark vision anymore with Brolan or Bronlar. Sorry. I'm gonna have to like rename some of these characters to what I keep accidentally naming them as. Critical miss, huh? Oh, we've got spellcasters. Oh, God. Okay. Um, we saved against Sacred Flame success. I guess we could have turned into a wolf. We would have gotten a bit more movement speed. But you know me, I like my Venom Strike. We missed what a like we had this like crazy dynamic shot for something as lame as that <laughs> let's do just like a basic flame a sacred flame nice i didn't realize it was a d8 that's quite nice actually i don't want to waste a second level spell on this I guess we probably have one more long rest before we're done. Um, this Brownlar doesn't have night dark vision anymore, right? Okay, let's uh let's have him run out of that. And actually, I'm gonna have him swap to ranged and then ready a ranged attack. Missed. We succeeded a dex roll, so um, they're spellcasters, but they're not great ones. Plus seven to hit is always wild to me. You have to roll pretty badly to miss. Nice. We succeeded our dex save, and we also get a free attack. And we uh, succeeded, and I guess we killed their shield of faith. Because they we broke their concentration. Oof. Just barely didn't kill them. Uh, well, we can actually do a melee hit with our um, cleric, and they are a better melee user than ranged user. Cool. I do uh, check the spell list probably every single time I take a turn, because I want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can. We have been succeeding at all of our checks, which is quite nice. So let's move Bronlar back and do a, another range attack. It's better than nothing. I don't think we're going to need to range uh, rage on this. Did we still succeed? We did. I guess we have advantage. Um, not sure. The only thing is I might turn into a wolf as, a uh, Herc. Oh, is that our first miss? No, we, we hit on 11. That's pretty good. 
Okay, let's wild shape into a wolf. Actually not going to be able to make it there, unfortunately. Uh, so let's just do like a sacred flame. All right, we're going to have to switch back to our crossbow to do that. It's always, you'd think that the game would like, you know, re know ahead of time if, that it succeeded and then give us a cool dynamic shot when we actually land our hit. Ooh, something different. Shield? Oh, they healed themselves for 4, four HP. Nice. We didn't take any damage. Got a little bit of XP. Let's see if we get anything cool. I'll just like place someone near all the bags and that way we can just like loot them more efficiently. We've got javelins and troll acanthus. Always good to find some components. More javelins. More javelins. I guess these are... Are these my javelins? Because I am throwing javelins, it occurs to me. Also, I have a bunch of arrows on me. I probably should be giving those... to, um... Callan. What do we got here? Anything good? Short sword. <gasps> oh, magnesium. Meh. I mean, it's it's magnesium. It's good. We've got a divine spell focus. Oil of cuteness. Leather armor. Mm, ammunition. Okay, we're good. I guess we could have used spells because I was just about to long rest. Okay, we're very close to um, our, you know, location. I might too, on the way back, I might uh, just like search for the Sorak layer on my off time and then as soon as i find it i'll uh, start the recording there for the next episode characters need to take a long rest should it'll probably be a while before we're level four open the map i do really love this style of doing a map it's really well done very clever. Probably want to go into caution mode. So this is a ruin. Oh. What the hell did we just stumble into? These aren't Sorax. They seem human. What exactly are they doing? What's it look like they're doing? They're digging something up. Oh. A tower of magic, perhaps. Owned by one of the masters of Manakalan's Arcanium. Who are those people? Scavengers? Hard to say. I see no tent or flag signifying their allegiance. Well, there is one way to find out. Perhaps we should sneak a little closer. Or simply walk in and see how friendly they are. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. New quest started. Let's have a quick look. You've reached the mysterious tower. Workers are stabilizing a tower, a tunnel beneath it. Find out who they are, what they're doing, and if they're linked to Sorak activity. Well, let's sneak in first and then talk to them. Always a good idea to find out what you can before you find out what they tell you. Because then you'll know if they're lying either way.
Not sure what we could get at first. Unknown human. There's something over there. Loot this container. I mean, it'll be difficult to get there without being seen, that's for sure. Oh, there's something there. Ooh. Stuff. Tragic love letter. Um... Can we have a look at that tragic love letter? Do hope these words find you in good health, and I am sorry for not writing sooner. Requisitioning, requisitioning the necessary supplies and ensuring delivery is risky and dangerous, but it is well worth it, as your letter has uh, have become your letters have become a shining beacon of hope in the dark of nights that haunt this prison. Your words of concern are not mi misplaced, as the wound of old is spreading my certain end through my feverish body. Days of labor are more torturous than the last. Every disciplinary action leaving wounds that will never heal, and hunger has thinned the veil between reality and dream. I fear this letter, letter may be my last. Long ago you asked me what my crimes led me here, and I professed my innocence. I could not risk that my beloved thought any less of me. Your worship of my fortitude, determination, spirit, allowed you to draw strength in dark times. I could not allow that to be tainted by my past, but now... In these final days, I understand that I was hardly worthy of that affection. I will never fathom how I deserved meeting you in the crucible of my own making. Um, do not look at the past, but to the future. And this just seems like exactly what is written on the tin. A tragic love letter. I'm not sure if there's... There might be quests that follow up on it later. But not right now. We could potentially have um, someone sneak by these two. I'm going to go like one at a time. Just going to wait for this guy to turn around. There we go. Ah, uh, shoot. All right, no talking then. Looks like there won't be any parlay. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, okay. Herc is in a world of hurt. I really thought I could sneak by, but maybe I flubbed a stealth check. I'm not sure. We have advantage. Oh, I guess we're stealthy right now. Nice. Uh, they, with disadvantage, they managed to pass. Oh, with disadvantage, I managed to pass my uh, stealth check. So I'm still stealthy. Excellent. I wonder if they see Kalen. I think they do, yeah. Be kind of weird if they didn't, honestly. What are these uh, red marks here? It's like, I'm. Am I visible? Is something over there? Hmm. I would like to get a, a free shot off if I can. I don't think I can, though. I'll move here and then end my turn. Herc? I worry, I'm worried for Herc. Um... I guess we'll switch to our sword here and actually do a sword attack. 
Oh, they're almost dead. Cool. I win again. Well, Herc taking some damage. Herc, come on. Well, at least they're all making their way over here. This guy's a spellcaster, I think. Oh, no, he's holding a dagger, not a wand. Well, this person's holding... They are uh, casting something. Oh, shielded by fate. We succeeded. Oh, no. Um, pretty sure Bronlar actually failed their check. Herc saved against the Sacred Flame. So there, that's the good part. Um... I think we would get advantage for shooting against this guy, but they have cover, unfortunately. Still, advantage even with cover. Wow, we still missed. That's on me. They succeeded, so now we're no longer stealthy. Um, we can put Shield of Fate on someone. Let's go ahead and move out there and put Shield of Fate on Herc. If he takes damage, we won't have the problem of uh, losing Shield of Fate because um, he's not the one concentrating on keeping this spell going. Okay, we want to get in a position where we can actually attack someone. Nice. Ooh. Excellent. I like how you can get partial cover from your, like, partners. Uh, I mean, if I can, I, I can jump in here and actually do some, like, decent stuff here, so I may as well. I guess if we frenzy, I, I probably shouldn't have frenzied. Because now I have to make another con save and then might get more exhausted. Although I, we already long rested, so he doesn't have that exhaustion from before. Um, we're just going to attack this guy in front of us. Miss. Nice. They're almost dead. Cool. Also good. Come on, against Kalen. Uh, nope. Herc saved against the, the Sacred Flame. We're getting really lucky with those deck saves. Um, we want to be behind cover because Gertrude is concentrating on keeping that protection spell going. Cannot see this target. How can I not see them? Can we see anyone right now? I guess we could hide for now. And... Um... We threw out a spirit weapon. That might be good. But now, are we concentrating on two different spells? I don't believe the spirit weapon counts. I believe it uh, is kind of like it has its own agency. I meant to attack with it. Oh well. Okay, that, she's dead. We'll target uh, this guy next. Gonna try and find a better spot. If I could get over to that cover over there, that'd be not terrible. We're almost done here, though. Nice. 
Nice. Oh, I guess there's still quite a bit left, actually. Double kill? Double kill. Um... All right, we're gonna... Hmm. Let's, let's do poison spray. I guess I'm a glutton for, for failure. They actually failed. Nice. So they took nine damage. Excellent. But they did uh, manage to attack back. Oof. Bronlar, um, is, uh, he failed this check. I'm not sure why. Oh no, Bronlar... Sorry, I keep misreading certain things. Bronlar rolled with advantage. So we're going to move out of cover. These guys haven't readied anything, so we can do this. And we'll attack with advantage, because we're stealthy. And we'll still miss, because we're bad. And then we'll go back in uh, behind cover. And then our spirit weapon is going to come over here and attack... Caster needs to perceive the target. Oh, I see. We need to be able to see the target in order to attack the target. It's fine. We'll we'll do that next time. We'll perceive it. Promise. Nice. Excellent. So much for your shield of fate. Sorry, Faith. I guess we can occupy the same space as the spirit weapon. That's kind of odd. We'll make our way to that last um, human over there. Um, move up with Herc and see if you can um, smack him with a good old-fashioned venomous strike or spike we did sacred flame save we saved your sacred flames are nothing oh you reapplied your shield of fate okay miss yeah my my sentiments exactly spirit weapon is so slow uh we'll just keep plugging away at this wow we missed with the uh, kalan we've we never miss with kalan Um, we still have javelins. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a javelin. It's a long-range attack. Let's let's make it not a long-range attack There we go Excellent Venom and spike come on hit it Nice dead victory I don't even think we took any damage. Oh no, Herc took some damage. Never mind. So what do you think? I see nothing to indicate they are reptilian. What's that symbol there? The tattoo. Looks like an A. They all have it. Guess they're all part of the same club. Well, there's no reason to assume it signifies something sinister. Do you think it has anything to do with the Sorax? <laughs> yeah. That's an old Timarian symbol. It stands for Arevad. He was a Timarian god, but he didn't come to Salasta. I can't remember much more. We better be careful. And don't forget, we need the head of a Sorak. We need the head of a Sorak. We succeeded our con save, so I believe that means that um, Bronlar isn't exhausted. Good, good, good. Um, stuff to loot. Lots of things to loot, actually. Uh, 
unidentified potion. We'll have to we'll have to get to some of that later. We're also gonna need to give um Kalan some more arrows. Actually, she's got plenty of arrows. But we should, um, at the very least, put them on a stack. Uh, there is stuff up there. Let's have someone grab it. Wonder if there's anything else. Doesn't seem to be. Ooh, spell focus arcane. Uh, it's just another spell focus. Nothing too exciting. Gertrude's the only one not um, over encumbered. If I take this rapier, she will be. So I'm just not going to. Okay, let's uh, group up. Did I check what was over there? Oh, uh, Herc did take some damage, actually. Did I already check this? Yeah, I did. So let's do a short rest and uh, get our health back without using our spells. We'll do two, actually. There we go. Alrighty. Might have to end the episode early because I'm pretty sure an another combat is going to be a bit long. But let's just like, we'll, we'll peek our heads in and when I see signs of the next combat, I might end it on a cliffhanger. Got a chest. Heck yeah, a chest. Unknown human. They seem challenge easy. Neutral. We passed our uh, thieves tools. Scroll of protection from evil and good. Let's go chat with this person. We might be okay to talk to them. They seem to have something to say to us at the very least. Please don't kill me. What are you doing here? I'm just a worker. Are you tattooed with an A? I, I, you don't understand. Are you one of them? One of what? I'm just trying to survive. I had no choice. What does the tattoo signify? It's... I can't... Uh... What? What? He's dead. How is that possible? How is any of this possible? He was doomed from the start. Weird. Huh. <laughs> he just died right in front of us. Some adventuring party we are. Didn't even save the dude. Not seeing anything confrontational yet. I don't know what that is. Okay. in my contract. Did Karen not tell you? I'd be good to remember what these blue currents can do. <laughs> you you expecting to forget?
feel like there's something up there that I could have, uh, I don't know. If I had ridden that stone upwards, I might have gotten something cool. I don't know. But then again, I don't think they gave me an option. It's just like click on it and then uh, you get the one interaction. I should cast Dark Vision on uh, Bronlar while I have the chance. Which means fritzing around with this again. Cast yeah, spell. Wait, I don't know why I did. Oops. That was just for jump. I, I didn't mean. I forgot about that. <laughs> like, oh, I gotta cast a spell. I better fritz around with this thing again. No. Actually, you don't have to do that. Um, it's a second level druid spell. Bronlar. Okay, cool. Unless we're down here for more than eight hours, we should be good. We should be covered. And that means we don't have to waste spells casting light on crap. This is starting to feel dungeon-y. Ooh, classic dungeon. Open the map, huh? Ooh, a library. Uh, why did the torch light up right next to us? Seems to me I would want to avoid exactly something like that. We got a ladder here. Definitely feel like there's just going to be a combat around a corner. We got something over here. Hmm. Is this one of those rocks that So we need someone to maybe jump down there? It's really hard to see stuff in this game sometimes. Could we get uh Kellen to like go down there? I guess if she's going down there, she should take the, uh, focus. Promise we'll get her her own, her own spell. No path or destination. Okay, so we clearly have to come at this from the other end. Or I guess we could jump over this small gap. Ah, I see. That's just gone. And then hopefully this makes this stops right here and then we can use it to jump up there cool this place is pretty extensive so what is this
Oh, failure. Uh. If it was, she surely did go to hell. What a pack rat. Her bones are probably buried somewhere under all these bloody books. You are an idiot. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> we failed that due to a dice roll. It's fine. It's fine. We got some goodies over here. I'll have Callan go over and check that out. Hopefully there'll be um, other opportunities to find some clues. Wonder if there's anything in there or if that's just the wall. Interesting. It's in remarkable condition considering how long it's been here. Do you think it has magical properties? Like Aaron's bones? I think it's a spell book. And I should get out of cars. A long forgotten spell. A valuable secret. But it looks to be locked. Take it. Perhaps someone in Care Kevlin will know how to open it. Indeed, but we have more pressing matters to attend to first. We found the second clue. All right. We'll definitely want to fully explore this place. That means going all the way back. Actually, I don't even know if I could have gone this way. Maybe I could have? Probably not. In the okay. Oh, no, oh, no. Expect the unexpected. I'm going to stop being cautious for a sec just to save a bit of time. Because it takes a lot longer to be stealthy. Solid. It's probably something up here. Oh yeah, there's a chest. I am seeing something combat -y in the future. Probably spiders. You'll have to forgive my camera work. It's a bit tricky. You see that? Is that a Sorak? Oh my god. For God's sakes. <laughs> We're terrible adventurers. I'm trying desperately to see if there's anything in there, but I don't think there is. How does one get in there? Or down there? I don't know if there's any way of doing it. Unless, uh, someone can jump that distance? That seems kind of insane. But if anyone can do it, it's... Kalan. Well, okay, I suspect there's a way of turning these currents off. And if you can, then this thing might fall back down. But let's try this method first, because it probably will work. Ugh. 
The fact that we can't even swap the wand is, uh, it makes it extra annoying. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, that's quite a jump. We got crafting manual white burn, unidentified potion, diamond, crafting manual short bow of accuracy. Sounds good. Hope that means we can climb up now. Cool. I guess we... Hmm. There's, there's some... Oh, God. Why would you stand on the trap? Oh, my God. Yo, that's bugged. No path to destination because you, you climbed up onto a trap. Um... Okay. <laughs> I'll accept that six damage. That was goofy as heck. Yeah, we're fighting spiders at some point for sure. Okay, it looks like we gotta get over here in order to get up to this statue. That's probably gonna be another history check that we will fail I'm wondering how we get over there Hold on Doesn't look like there's any way from this angle so I have to assume there's a way from a different angle Just gonna double check that there's nothing over here no path to destination i mean i disagree there definitely is a path but that definitely also means that they did not intend for you to go over there there's actually no reason for us to come over like all of us to come over here someone just needed to push that block game kind of comes across as you know having puzzles this is like you know, Solasta's version of a puzzle, but it's not very puzzly. It, it just kind of feels like filler. I would appreciate puzzles in the future. But um, right now, it's just kind of like spot the thing. Hey, there is definitely something over there, by the way. Okay. We got spiders. We got lots of spiders. Okay. Um spectral spiders as well let's leave it there as a cliffhanger we've got lots of things to follow up on and uh, we've got an interesting combat to start the next episode on if you are enjoying the series definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy